Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Virgos watching. So if you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this reading, this message might resonate or apply to you. So Virgo, this will be a general love tarot reading. I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. Perhaps this energy is already in your life currently. Before I do go ahead and get started with your reading, Virgo, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Virgo, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Alright, Virgo, so let's go ahead and get started with, started with your reading. Let's check on the energy that's coming towards you in regards to love. Can we please get a few cards for Virgo? Who's this person coming towards Virgo? All right, we have our first card that came out. Let's see what we have. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Who's this person coming towards Virgo, please? And what energy are they bringing towards Virgo? What energy are they bringing with the Knight of Pentacles? All right, Virgo. We also have the Two of Wands that came out. Can we please get a few more cards for Virgo in regards to the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, please? The Devil came out. Alright, let's go ahead and get one more card for Virgo regarding the Knight of The Devil. Alright, we have another card, so Page of Wands. So Virgo, um, the energy that, well, to start out with, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Devil, and we also have the Page of Wands. So Virgo, um, the energy that I feel so far from these cards is that somebody is wanting to pursue you slowly, and I feel like in the beginning stages and just throughout this connection getting to know them they're going to build trust with you build that security um somebody who wants you by their side virgo and loyalty all together but it's going to be more of a slow process we do have the knight of pentacles so this is somebody coming towards you closer and closer over time, building that security, the stability, um, the loyalty between you two. And with this connection progressing through time, Virgo, I, I feel like they already have plans um, for the both of you, like what they see uh, happening in the future for the both of you. Uh, they they already have plans to expand with you Virgo and one thing about this person they might be a little bit hard to read or I want to say cold on the surface like this person might not show their expressions as much but you you know that they're interested in you by showing you through their actions you could be dealing with the Capricorn, does not have to resonate, but um, with the Two of Wands following the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, they, they already have goals or a dream or things that they want to achieve with you, and it's, it's expanding for the both of you, Virgo. And another thing about this person's personality, uh, I feel like they might come across cold, not really distant, but just hard to read maybe they are the ones to lead this connection um this person might not want to talk 24 7 throughout the day but if they make plans with you they're sticking to it that that uh persona that they're 
giving you, I feel like that's much, it'll change. It's much different from when they're actually in a connection with you. Um, this person might be a little bit like obsessive or just attached, maybe even clingy once they are committed to you, Virgo. So as of now, they might be appearing like distant or cold or standoffish, but I feel like that changes once you two are in a committed relationship or connection or the feeling is known to be mutual and it's outwardly, it's outwardly expressed. So Virgo, we have the devil coming out. I feel like this is um, how your person wants to be right by your side. Um, this also goes down to the loyalty that they're trying to build with you. Somebody they know is for them, has their back. But w whenever this card comes out, it sometimes signals to me like codependency or an addiction or a person may be filling a void. Uh, but it all, it all depends on what's going on in your connection, Virgo, and we'll know more with the cards next to come. But I feel like your person wants to be attached to you. They want a life partner, someone who's not going anywhere. And another reason to why they're being so distant is because they're perhaps observing you, Virgo, to make sure you are that one for them. Page of Wands, Virgo, they want to start something with you. I feel like their mind is already on it. Their mind has been on it with the Two of Wands, seeing what could be between you two. This person might be very invested into their future, their work, their career. But let's go ahead and get a few more cards for now. What other energy is this person bringing towards Virgo, please? Ace of Pentacles came out. Can we please get a few more cards regarding this energy that we do have? What does Virgo need to know? We have two cards that came out. We'll go ahead and take from the top. We have the Four of Pentacles and Five of Cups. For some of my Virgos out there, this sounds like a past person with the Five of Cups, maybe. Because I feel like this person is more strategic. Um, they like for things to go their way. I feel like they're, they're in their head a lot, but more in a strategic type of way. They're thinking about things, how to get ahead. Um, so maybe this person was too, in a way, strict for you. Um, so you're releasing these emotions with the Five of Cups. If that resonates for some of my Virgos out there. What else does Virgo need to know about this energy, please? Five of Wands. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards regarding this energy. Four of Swords. And let's go ahead and get Eight of Pentacles came out. We'll go ahead and get one more card, please, for Virgo. Can we please have one more card for Virgo? Anything else, Virgo? Okay, we have another card, the Emperor. And then at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Sun card, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So I feel like for some of my Virgos out there, with this person, the energy remains the same, but this person was either for you or not for you, Virgo. Um, because, like I said, I feel like this person is very, they're independent, but they do want someone by their side, like a loyal partner. And I feel like you, Virgo, you're also very independent. Um, and I'm going to use the word stubborn, but not in a negative way. But then again, it might relate to your person, Virgo, but just two people knowing their preferences and no matter what, you're not going to let anybody change your, your preferences. So I feel like you and this person, for some of my Virgos, I feel like this person was maybe just not the one for you, not the most compatible. But then for my other Virgos, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun card, Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, also Nine of Cups, being able to make this connection work. So there might be two separate outcomes. 
and with this energy right here it's like it's like accepting one another's differences and learning from one another and broadening your mind and being exposed to happiness with the sun card but with the rest of the cards we have we have the ace of pentacles four of pentacles five of wands four of swords eight of pentacles and the emperor so i know i just described those two separate energies virgo but with the emperor coming out this is for you you have that decision or that choice to make and for some of my virgos out there maybe this would be like this person they have it all together and you would have liked for it to work but then some things just were too difficult to get over so this is for you virgo making a serious decision and sticking with it but we have the ace of pentacles i feel like following the page of wands this person wants to make that proposal to you come closer to one another and start this this stable foundation to have this connection go into something more we have the five of wands virgo i feel like this is that stubborn energy i was talking about just maybe butting heads not seeing eye to eye maybe this person was the type to change you because of how how they like to do things and it wasn't best for you so we have the devil energy with the five of wands so i feel like for some of my virgos you and this person were going back and forth not seeing eye to eye and that maybe cause distance or tension between you two also just being more possessive of what you have what you own not trying to get in get into anything so quickly with this ace of pentacles and i feel like this might stand out for my virgos who were maybe planning on like moving in together with their person or they were maybe living together but you might feel like this person also has a different side to them that you just don't like so it makes you more protective of yourself for a pentacles this person also just might be more of a selfish type of person and that can go into like how they think like not hearing you out as well but maybe selfish with their possessions eight of pentacles virgo i do feel like for some of my virgos out there you spend some separation from this person just focusing on yourself and even if you were involved or are involved with this person you still make that time for yourself because without this person you're still considering yourself and what you're you're doing to get ahead virgo let's see what sign you might be dealing with can we please get a sign for virgo sun moon rising venus pisces let's go ahead and get another sign for virgo sun moon rising venus virgo came out pisces again and pisces and virgo is sister sign energy so maybe there are some similarities but differences between you two that are more contrast to one another scorpio and let's get one more sign please for virgo and taurus all right virgo i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always i appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye